previously on LA Rams cheerleaders making the squad. Learning the routines in a quick time and then having to perform them back to back is challenging. The dancers out there were like off the charts and it was really, really tough competition out there. The semifinals was, we went speed demon into it. We learned two combos of jazz and a hip hop. From this group of semifinalists, we're gonna actually cut it down a little bit more. We're gonna bring a group of 100, 80 to 100 into finals. The day will conclude and after that, they'll tell us who made finals the following morning. It is a final step closer to making to the NFL team of 2023, and now I have to get rehearsals all weekend. I'm so, so blessed, thrilled, and thankful. Thank you so much, and we'll see you soon. This is the Los Angeles Rams cheerleaders making the squad. The whole thing about NFL cheerleading is it's really evolved over the years. It gets more challenging, and you know, this is LA and we got a lot of talent in this town and so it gets harder and harder and more difficult to get this gig. And part of what we're looking for here are the ones that, that can step up with us and, and keep going with, with uh, that progression. We love the partnership with LA Fitness. Obviously that being in a gym, there's more space. Hello. And with 88 finalists, we would not have been able to accommodate them in a dance studio, in a traditional dance studio. So the gym and the basketball size, you know, does help us with all those bodies. We're very, very excited to have you here. There are a lot of you, so we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna break down into groups, but we're gonna all learn together. I always say at the four rehearsals that we have, the cream of the crop elevate. Congratulations, you guys, let's go. Well, once they become a finalist, that's when the work really, really kicks in. Tonight, everything starts to notch up, as you well know. Congratulations on being here, but it's a brand new game. All in all, what they're learning are two jazz routines and two hip hop routines. Scoop it three, scoop it four, five, six. Shaky and I will continue on with our dances that we started at prelim. So those will become, instead of just 30 second dances, they'll become a full minute of dances. We're there to support one another throughout the rough rehearsals. They're very fun, but our bodies hurt a little bit afterwards. I love dancing, so being able to dance for three hours straight, sign me up, I'm there. Great job, you guys. This is going to be very tough. Very, very tough. So cute. Today we're at SoFi Stadium doing our interview process. I've never been to SoFi and that's where the interview is. So I'm so excited to walk in and just like see it all. This is a job interview. They're supposed to wear business attire and look professional going into that. I feel great. I feel like, um, I look, I feel like I look great. So if I look great, I feel great. <laughs> Everyone, you ready? Come on in. They do interviews, not one on one. They will do anywhere from two to five people in that group. What's going on? Nothing much. I'm like, yeah, good to see you. Come give you a little hand chase. We got to hear each other's stories, where everyone's from, what we do now. So it was really fun. It was a great conversation. I'm preparing for questions such as why I want to be here, what drove me to be here, why did I switch from NBA to NFL. They have to be well-spoken, professional, represent the organization. So someone who might dominate the conversation might not be a good fit. Somebody who's timid and doesn't say enough might not be a good fit. They are the ambassador to the organization and so that interview will carry about 50% of their total score overall. Look at that guy. Look at it. We do everything together. My family is really close, almost to the point where it's we're weirdly close. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jordan. I am from Chino Hills, California. I am so excited to be auditioning as a Los Angeles Rams cheerleader. I'd love to return for my second season. I just completed my rookie season as a cheerleader and I had the absolute most amazing experience. I have dreamed of being a Rams cheerleader since I was a young girl dancing in the studio. I knew that this was an opportunity that not many people get and I had already experienced my first year as a cheerleader and I knew from the beginning that I wanted to join again for this upcoming season.
In the end of 2022, right after I finished my season, I started to get these headaches in the beginning of the year, starting in January. They were really minor. They weren't concerning at first. Um, they started out to feel sort of like a migraine that would last probably 10 minutes in the morning and then disappear until ultimately I had to get the CT scan and MRI because that's when the headaches became so so much worse and they weren't getting better and it was starting to get concerning. Um, after the CT and MRI, I actually was rushed into the emergency room a few months into 2023. And when I got to the emergency room, that's when they told me, oh my gosh, you need to go into emergency surgery right away. Your brain is swelling and there is a brain tumor on your MRI scan. We need to remove this as soon as possible. And it's every parent's worst nightmare to be on, driving to the hospital, having those feelings inside. And the doctor walked out of the room. I looked at my daughter and of course my emotions and feelings are all over the place. And I looked at my daughter and she looked at me and said, mom, I'm glad this is happening to me because I'm strong and I can handle this. I didn't know if life was gonna be the same when I woke up the next morning after surgery. I remember sitting in the hospital with her and her mom and just thinking she would say well you know there goes ramps i'm not gonna be able to try out again this year and we would tell her well let's just wait and see what happens let's just hold off let's not make any decisions yet i was given a second chance at life the day after surgery i was already walking around the hospital and actually okay functioning talking to everyone the hardest question i ever had to ask was well am i gonna ever be able to dance again I asked my surgeon a few days after surgery. Ultimately, I'm so grateful I can even walk, but I, in the back of my mind, I knew this is probably not a possibility at all. There's no way I'm gonna be able to recover from brain surgery and start dancing ASAP and be ready for this audition. Hi Jordan, sending you all the love and prayers for a speedy recovery. My girl Jojo, I'm so sorry to hear that you are in the ICU, but I'm glad that you're recovering. I'm so thankful that you're in my life and I really need you to get better, please. Can't wait to see you and squeeze you so soon. I love you, I love you, I love you and praying for you. My prognosis came back that my tumor was benign and I don't have cancer. The surgeon told me, I can totally see you being a Rams cheerleader again. She contacted me shortly after her surgery. I wasn't even aware that this was happening. And so she contacted me and said that she um, had a medical condition that was preventing her from participating full-fledged in our preliminary and final round. And so at that point, we had to make sure that we were doing the right thing to support her medically. 200 from a HR standpoint and an organization Number standpoint, 200. and that her doctors and her were on the same page as us and we were allowing enough time for all of that to work out. Surviving this gave me a second chance at life, which makes me want to do everything I possibly can again in this life. And ultimately that is the reason that I did audition for the team. And being a survivor, I want to show everyone that no matter what road your life takes you, what hardships you face, what can you do to pursue your dreams and be an inspiration for others? This year's talent is by far the most talent we've had since relocating back to Los Angeles. You guys ready for this? Yes. Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Hi. We're gonna go ahead and put you in height order and put you in your pairs first. So when I put them in height category, it makes it much more of an equal balance as they dance. Don't get too comfortable, because I do switch. Or do I need to switch Aria? She looks so short. I, you look so tall right here. I'm like, I'm like struggling visually. We are assigning them a dance partner, assigning them a new number, and giving them the opportunity to, to dance next to the person that they're gonna be dancing next to at the finals on that Sunday. At the end of the night, everyone looked pretty, pretty good. Just be prepared 
for the day of. So that all you have to do when you get there is sign in, take your picture, get it together, warm it up, listen to the music a couple times, and there's about 48 people that are not gonna have this job. And I know that's, I'm being Debbie Downer saying that, it's just the truth, and that's the reality of it. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you on Sunday. Added to the final day of making the NFL team is like 6 a.m. Hints on my circles. But today, we find out who's gonna be on the cheerleaders team. Good morning! Good morning! Good morning. So it all comes down to, honestly, all the days <laughs> packed into one from starting at prelims through the rehearsal process down to finals. Cal Lutheran is where the football team practice facility is, so we went out there for our final round. It is so cold. My fingers feel like they're gonna fall off. Mother Nature clearly uh, doesn't seem to work in our favor for finals. Last year it was so hot in the gym. Even with the fans going, it seemed to, that, to be that it was a struggle for everyone, judges included. Um, this year it was so cold Everybody was having trouble keeping their hair in place, you know, making sure, because the wind was blowing opposite of the way their hair was. Uh, so you're doing Britney's Jazz, Jazz. and JP's Hip Hop. They registered at a certain point in the morning. You looked at my hair and I was like, uh-oh. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> we had our makeup artist, Lily, who does game day makeup for anyone who wanted it, and the smart ones did. They went to Lily to have them bump it up for our game day look. Take just a half step where that black is. Yep. They had headshots taken with and without their numbers, so we'd have a reference to that, especially on the website when, when the team is announced. Any questions at all before we get going? It was a really efficient process. We got them all out on that field. We let them stretch and warm up. We ran all four of those pieces of music and then it was time to line them up and start dancing them through. They've learned four routines and today they get to show their talent to the judges and we will make a team selection today. When you line up with your partner, I want to be able to like feel your presence, like everything about you, like you're ready to go, you're confident. Give yourself grace because you made it to this point. That means you can be on the team. As I said the other day, it, if it is a no today, it doesn't mean it's a no forever. We hope that you've enjoyed the process. We hope that you come back. And we will see you all soon. Yeah. Good luck today. Thank you. I am so excited. Today is just going to be an amazing day. It's also my 25th birthday, so I'm celebrating it dancing and with all of my friends. So I just have, I'm in good spirits and I'm really happy. Hit me! What is going through my mind as I'm dancing? I'm one, trying to engage the judges and make eye contact with them. Um, but I'm also trying to kind of hype myself up in my own head. In some senses, I wish I was stronger and more precise with my movements. But at the same time, I was giving 110%. So if that's what 110% looks like, I'm okay with it. Last year, because I didn't know what was really going on for the process, because it was my first time trying out, I was way more nervous because I wasn't prepared for nearly the things that I am this year. I'm more prepared and I feel like more confident in my dancing as well. I feel like I performed really well. I feel like I smiled. I gave it all to the judges when I first got there. I was really nervous. I think the main thing I maybe could have worked on more is my stamina. <laughs> so I hope that I held it under control. I mean, I did what I could. <laughs> I am feeling super excited. I cannot lie, I was a little anxious this morning when I was driving up here. Obviously, this is just the culmination of two weeks of a lot of work. I'm just really excited to get out there and show the judges what I'm here to do. I honestly just felt like this jolt of adrenaline come through me and at the end of the day I wasn't worried about doing every single detail perfectly. I was really worried about going out there and having a lot of energy and having a lot of fun and I feel like I did just that. I'm worried, I'm scared, I'm confident, I'm excited to get it over with. I mean, there's a million words. It's a bunch of them put together right now. There's so many emotions going on. It's really windy outside, so the hair flip is actually the opposite of where our hair is supposed to be going. 
So that was another obstacle, but I felt like it was the best I could possibly do in the moment. I really wish that I had to dance that one extra arm perfect, because that's what I'm thinking about. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling relaxed, I'm calm, not stressed at all, just been running the routines in my head, but not trying to overthink it, just trying to go into it, just lightheaded and ready to go. When that music hit, it was strong. I had a strong start and a strong finish, so it went great from the first routine to the second. I think I did really, really good. I felt really good. Today was like on a whole nother caliber, so I think today's routines really set the tone for me. I feel really good about it. My fingers are crossed and it's out of my hands at this point. I feel like I'm really pumped up. I'm really excited. I met the most amazing people throughout this whole audition process. Um, I'm just like ready to go out there and perform. I know I performed um, at this point. It's in my body again. I always get nervous, but I feel like I turn the nervousness into like power and excitement and cleanliness. So I feel like it was my best time. The past two weeks have all led up to today. It's a big emotional and almost like a dream come true kind of feeling that I'm trying to process while still trying to process the fact that I'm, I've worked my entire life for this. It honestly didn't even feel like an audition. I'm just so thankful. I'm overwhelmed with joy and appreciation for how long this journey has been and probably the best two weeks of my life. I'm very excited. Obviously super, super nervous. I've been all day, but I think I'm very excited. I mean, it's so fun being here like on the turf. You see all the Ram stuff all around. It's a whole different experience today. <laughs> Hit the first spot and I like took a breath and I was just said to myself, this is it. It's all or nothing, give everything you have and then that's all you can do. So then I went for it from there on. During our last rehearsal, I actually twisted my ankle a little bit. So I took a little breather. I iced during my days off and I tried to just mark it in my head. And then yesterday night, I kind of went in and I rehearsed a little bit. After these two weeks, I'm like, you know what? Whatever I put out right there is what I put out. All I know is that I'm just gonna do the best I could do. One, two, three, yeah! Just by coming off, I think that's the best performance I've done. Um, even with the win, with my hair all over my face, I do feel like this was my best product. Performing is what I'm most excited about, so I'm really happy I was able to do that. So it's definitely been an emotional roller coaster. Although there's been times where I've been so overwhelmed and so down, like, oh, I can't dance. I just keep reminding myself, like, you are alive. You got this second chance at life, and you got a second chance at dance itself. I've been given this opportunity, so why wouldn't I go 100% give it my all to go for this um, while given the second chance. Because like I said, I would have never thought a month ago that I would be standing here today physically able to do this audition. So I'm just so grateful. For me, auditions is, um, it's a really difficult time. It's a difficult time personally because I had been there before. I, I auditioned for every team in Los Angeles and never made a team for four years. And so I always tell people, just because it's no today doesn't mean it's no tomorrow or no forever. You need to be able to come back and figure out what you can do better. But I always try to tell them, don't give up because today is no. Okay, I just wanna say thank you for being here today. It is a lot of talent in this room. It is a very difficult decision. What happens is all of those applicants, they, they stand in a circle holding hands, waiting to hear their fate, waiting to hear their, their first name and their number. Okay, we're gonna get started. We're gonna call numbers, everybody. Here we go. It's really a, an experience of a lifetime and not a lot of people get the opportunity to say that they went through the process, whether they made it or not. Our first 2023 Los Angeles Rams cheerleader is number 65, Brendan. And at that point, as they started calling numbers, I started to panic and I was like, oh my gosh, they need to call my number right now. Number 12, Natalia. 
Somebody pinched me, I keep saying it. I honestly am so thankful and I'm so excited. I just can't be any happier. I'm so thankful to be here. I'm such an emotional wreck. Number 25, Kendra. I feel like when I heard my number, I was just like overwhelmed with excitement. Number 73, Emily. Can't wait to get back onto the football field. Obviously dancing, I cannot wait to do it with these incredible dancers. Like holy smokes, that talent. Number 82, Jordan. I definitely think me showing up and going to every single rehearsal, learning the material, doing the interviews, um, really showed the coaches and our director that I am capable of learning all this choreography. And if I rest and take care of myself now, I can be prepared with all this choreography in our first rehearsals, in our first performances at SoFi to my best capability. Number seven, Tyler. Obviously the first time you make the team, it's such an overwhelming feeling of just joy. But the second time you make the team, it's just, I'm just ecstatic. Number 24, Brian. I can't wait to get home just to celebrate with my family and just soak all this in, because this is a great feeling and I'm just glad that I just conquered this goal of mine and I'm on my dream team, Los Angeles Rams. Number two, Shay. It still feels so for real, I'm like shaking. I don't even know what's happening, but I'm just so happy, it's my dream. I'm so excited. Number 21, Shariah. They said my number 21, I like froze. I forgot my name for a second. Are you sure? And my friend next to me, I hugged her, almost banged my teeth out, so I was like. Again, thank you, everyone. Thank you, congratulations. Great squad, great squad. 35, a little bit bigger. My part is over. So I think I did all that I could because I'm going to support whoever makes the team. It's OK hearing no, you know, maybe next year. We'll see you at SoFi Stadium. Once they make the team, we'll go into uniform fittings, and that's a little exciting, a little nerve-wracking. Those look good on you. See how nice that fits on yeah, your shoulders? So this is kind of, I guess, you hear about it all the time, being a superhero in the uniform, and I think today they kind of feel like that superhero. I'm just on cloud nine. I'm just happy to be here, grateful to be here, and can't wait to be on the field in this uniform. They'll consistently have rehearsal, they'll get ready for training camp, then they'll get ready for game day, and they're continuing to do community appearances every day, out everywhere. On the field, you'll see a lot of talent. This is an extremely talented team, and they're about to showcase it on game day.